economy now and pushing for e-learning, will the 1,300 plus uh, schools uh, be uh, sh uh, shift from okay. using books to iPad? Okay. Thank you. Uh, the CAP as a voluntary association uh, does not uh, mandate a particular uh, kind of methodology in teaching like the use of e-books. However, during this conference, I know that there is a, a, there are two concurrent sessions that will be talking about uh, e-learning. Uh, so we don't have uh, a stand on it, an official stand of CEAP, but we are open to uh, different methodologies in fact, uh, we have, as I said, two of the concurrent sessions dedicated to this. But it is something that uh, we have to explore uh, because this is something of uh, the future. Uh, and if, you know, as uh, yesterday we heard from one of the speakers, if this is really here to stay, we might as well ask ourselves very seriously how we can use it uh, not only to, to teach, but even to communicate the Catholic faith to, to others. Are there any additional answers from the uh, Yes, uh, the, the other board members might, uh, especially those who have uh, basic education schools, because I understand that uh, many of these e-learning materials are really in, uh, in the basic education level. I know that in NCR, for instance, we have, we find a specific and uh, three schools that are already using it, De La Salle, Green Hills, we have Xavier, and St. Paul Passy. The addition Paul from the board, uh, and yes, Brother Jun, uh, our treasurer, president of De La Salle University. I think at the moment that it's uh, more the exception rather than the rule. As you very well know, as was presented earlier, many of our schools are really small schools uh, out you know, in the different regions. And many of them are, uh, are even you know, on the level of even trying to survive uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, trying to run their schools. So it's, it's a real challenge for many of these schools to be, to be able to even go beyond, you know, just the regular daily means of, of running their schools. So technology has, uh, has not yet taken its, its hold on the schools. Hopefully, I, I think what, what might be done here is for uh, for the uh, not so not so technologically advanced schools to be able to get back to the basics of what education is all about and to go into the real meat of what teaching is all about what learning is all about train the teachers very well and so forth and maybe that's where uh, you know these uh, publishing houses can can help us or now, of course if they can uh, give donations uh, to help technologically improve our systems I think that that would be a, uh, a welcome uh, regard. Okay. Thank you Brother Jun, uh, Father Jun, uh, Trustee of Norwich from uh, Rogationist Academy. In Region 11 we are trying to see what we can. When Red Fox presented their own thing about this tablet Students are excited because it would mean less weight for them. They wouldn't be bringing books. But at the end, the cost is another thing to be considered because it would cost 12000 And as Brother Jun was saying, our schools, small schools, are really just surviving. So 12000 would not really be a possibility for them. Many of our schools are still in the outskirts of the center of the vow, and so they don't have the land yet, and so therefore it's still another impossibility. And third, of course, is another than it's still a little hard at this time. What we are still doing is go back to the basic of that, the books, 
But in time, when there are possibilities, for example, the DUI is given and you, I mean, that would uh, that it's a, another possibility for schools. We use uh, those cities and other things. But uh, while we see it's ideal, perhaps it's exciting for students. There are still a lot of parameters that we have to consider. Thank you, Father Danny. Uh, Sister Mercedes from Saint Paul. I just would like to share some of our experiences. Although in one of our schools, we tried, we tried ebook, but then there are certain issues, ethical issues raised by the parents, the students, and the stakeholders, for example. In a Catholic school, the core of the curriculum is um, religious instruction. But then, although some of the textbooks are already uploaded, in the ebook, but then our religion textbooks are not. So it will be difficult to tell the students to bring the hard copy of the religion textbooks and yet bring on an iPad with the e-books uploaded because they are saying that it's, too, it's so heavy to carry the textbooks. And also there is the ethical issue of piloting and then of um, uploading illegally with uh, uh, infringing the copyright of the authors and then some of the publishing companies are still trying to streamline the policies of e-learning with the traditional way of teaching and learning so although we welcome that advancement of education of technology, but then there are things that we still would like to stick to the traditional way of teaching and learning, which will be most effective. Thank you, Sister Mercedita. Still, any more questions? 